What are you doing? You were flanking you. All right. We were flanks. Everybody got one? You good? All right. Just want to make sure you got it right. As soon as Garrett Graves get up, we'll begin. Well, we're glad to be back in the free state of Florida um, for our House GOP conference. I know it's a difference between the Democrats and Republicans. Um, they worried about what to call theirs, and then I've never seen a, a conference of the Democrats who say not one person in their conference has brought up gas prices. I wonder why they won't bring it up, because they know who caused it. But over a year ago, at our last conference, we created these task forces. The task forces were created to go out to listen to the American public, have everybody in the conference participate, to be able to find the solutions for America to a lot of the problems the Democrats have created. You've watched, we've been able to roll out a number of them from the Parents' Bill of Rights to securing our border. But one of the real challenges we continue to hear across this country is the rising prices from everything you think about, from the grocery store. You see the gas price today. And what that means is, under the Biden administration, it's going to cost every American family $6,000 more dollars, just because what is rising. It's not the only thing rising. And really, the question has to be asked, can we afford them? Can we afford their policies? Where the gas prices rise, where home prices rise, where your rent rises, where the milk, eggs, avocados rise, but also what rises is crime because of their policies. Our big cities and our small cities now have become unsafe. Can we afford their policies when it comes to the border being not secure? Now we're not only a flood of people coming across, it's those who are we catching on the terrorist watch list, but more importantly, the fentanyl that's coming across this country to kill our young Americans. It's the number one cause of death between the ages of 18 and 45. And now we're watching what's happening around the world. Can we afford their foreign policy? We watched this president say it's a difference between if Putin invades Ukraine a little bit or a lot. Now he just said yesterday he only warned the American companies that Russia was coming to hack them. He did nothing about stopping it. Why? Because earlier he told Putin just 16 places he shouldn't go. No, the real answer should be Russia should not challenge one American company ever. He's got to start finding solutions, but we see that he's lost in that process. That's the difference between the Republicans and Democrats. We're working here in this conference to come out with our solutions that we'll roll out to the American public to make sure that the next century is the American century. With that, let me bring up our whip, Steve Scalise. Thanks, Kevin.